questions about ijtihad and uh, the application of the Islamic uh, jurisprudence uh, lead obviously to our next segment which deals with your specific questions about things we can or cannot do in the Islamic faith. For example, you know, listen to music. Can we or can we not? Well, let's uh, get that question answered. One of the most common questions we get nowadays, Sheikh, is about music. Is it halal or is it not? And you mentioned uh, this is one of the issues you dealt with in your uh, DVD documentary, uh, Islam for Common Sense. But uh, w what do you say about this? Music? Well, whether music or art in general, all these issues, unfortunately, uh, for, for, for some time now, specifically last 20, 25 years, a lot of books have been important from specific countries, within specific contexts, they were written uh, as a reaction to a certain kind of, uh, or certain phenomena. Uh, and then everything is haram. You cannot apply that because you have to have a proof. God Almighty says in chapter 16, do not say with your tongues and out loud that this is halal and haram. And you are lying on behalf of God. So is there a clear-cut verse forbidden art and music? I want to see a clear-cut meaning says it is not permissible to play music. Of and course, is there such? There is no such thing. Mm -hmm. The hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari, it's not in the Bukhari a, a compilation of authentic. It's in the Bukhari but as you can say an appendix called Mu'allaqat, hanged hadith, meaning we lack a person there to be confirmed. There is a, a, a cut there. There's no link between that and the Prophet himself. So you mean, you're saying Where, that the Prophet may not have said this? Most likely he hasn't said it. And also, common sense again. What kind of music are we talking about? There is the good music and the bad music. Like there is the good medicine and the bad medicine. There is a good food and the bad food. I personally, I don't spend time listening to music. I don't have time. But to say bluntly, it is haram. Prophet suggested to Aisha and to many people who celebrated weddings to say things, even gave them the lyrics. Why don't you sing something like, we have come, we have come, and the, the, the song about marriage. Make a wedding, a wedding and not a funeral. It's about celebration, Eid, celebration, children singing, laughing. There were those two girls, you know, some say in the hadith that they were very young. Not really, they were not. And that uh, Abu Bakr was upset with them. May Allah be pleased with him. And then the Prophet said, no, let them sing. Let them enjoy the moment. It's a wedding, it's celebration. So as a music, to say bluntly, there are four opinions, basically. I know because of that time. Yeah, there the is, question would have to be very brief. Yeah, you only the, have about yeah, a and, and half of course, minute. There are say, no, categorically harm. Some say, no, we can use the good and forsake the bad. And there is another one says, we allow everything. And there is, of course, the fourth one, of, of course, that we can use only tambourine instead of this and that. But we have to be very careful uh, to say something. Yes, there are many hadiths. Let me uh, just uh, tell you, Ibn al-Arabi and many great scholars of jurisprudence have confirmed that all these hadiths are weak and they don't stand a chance. And, and we sometimes, blow something out of proportion and make it a big issue. We know by common sense the bad words, the bad music, which leads away, leads people away from God and, and family values and, and good things. And we know the music that is enhancing these values. Nothing wrong with that. And Allah okay. knows best. Okay, folks, that's about all the time we have for this segment as well. Uh, before I close, I'd like to encourage you once again to donate for our show to help us to stay on air. And uh, visit our website. Uh, that, that's where you can send us your questions, your comments, and any suggestions you may have. And uh, I would invite you to watch uh, every episode of Let the Quran Speak on this station and elsewhere. And uh, you can also view past episodes on our website. From all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. See you next week.